I love MSI, and that is a good note to start off on. So for the first episode of Thing vs. Slightly Better Thing, we will look at the performance between a GDX 960 and a GTX 970, both with MSI's sexy twin Frozer 5 cooler. This may tell you which is better for your money or how much performance you even need for that new game of yours to run. So starting off with the spec list, the 960 has 1024 cores versus the 970 with 1664, which is quite a huge margin between the two. And I feel like Nvidia missed out on adding a 960 Ti with more CUDA cores because there's a big gap in there. MSI is gaming 2G and the 4G versions of their 960s and 970s will have a base clock of 1297 MHz and 1140 MHz. And these boost clocks I have shown are the boost clocks of my cards. Yours may be very different. The memory for the 960 is 2 GB of GDDR5 memory and 4 GB for the 970. And yes, there are 4GB versions of the 960, but I managed to pick up a 2GB version. Both cards have a memory clock of 3506MHz, and the 960 is on a 128-bit bus, and the 970 is on a 256-bit bus. The 960 can be in 2-way SLI, while the 970 can be in up to a 3-way. They are both very attractive, yes, and the MSRP is roughly 210 for the 960 and roughly 340 for the 970. All tests are being run at 1080p. The system being used has an i5-4670K at 4 GHz, cooled by a Corsair H105 liquid cooler, paired with 16 GB of Patriot Viper 1600 MHz memory, all on an MSI Z87M power motherboard. The boot drive is a crucial MX200 250 GB SSD, and for mass storage, a Seagate Barracuda 2TB, all powered by a Corsair CX600M. And everything is inside of an NZXT S340. Games that we are testing are Bioshock Infinite Benchmark on Ultra with Diffusion, Tomb Raider 2013 on Ultimate, Fallout 4 on Ultra, GDA 5 with a mixture of very high but on normal textures because of the 2 gig frame buffer on the 960, Shadow of Mordor on very high, and Rise the Tomb Raider on high settings. So the main difference appears to be the 960 is great on high settings on most games. However, sometimes the 2 gig VRAM bottleneck is shown. There is a 4 gig version of the 960 again, but it's up to you to decide whether that's a better deal. The 970, however, is a great at maxing out most games, or at least coming pretty close to doing so. Not to mention, it is the most popular card on the Steam hardware survey, and it is VR ready. While the 960 is more of a sweet spot value oriented card, where you don't want to spend over $300 on a brick that makes Lara Croft's hair look a bit more realistic. But let these results be interpreted in your own way, and make your own decision from them. Thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking around. I invite you to be subscribed so that you can see my video next week, and can await the next episode of Thing vs. Slightly Better Thing.